So, again, in chapter 11, uh, the treatment of the hair and the scalp, <clears throat> when it goes into the introduction, the treatment of the hair and scalp includes shampooing, uh, scalp massage, conditioning, and special treatments of the hair and the scalp condition. When performed correctly, these services are relaxing and effective in helping to ensure health of the, of the client, her, and the scalp. Providing such professional services can also increase client retention and referral to help to promote a positive reputation for the barber and the barber shop to grow. Okay, so down to discussing the shampoo services. Shampoo services for haircuts ensures that the hair is clean and free from all and uh, products that, that, that could interfere with the cutting tool or the haircut results. Um, Follow-up conditioning treatments after the shampoo helps to keep the hair in a healthy, manageable condition for the clients and the barber. So always make sure that when you're picking out a shampoo for the client that you don't analyze their scalp and make sure that, that, that you're diagnosing them with the right uh, product to go and buy. Uh, you don't want nobody that, that, that say for instance, they have, they have very high dandruff or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to recommend them to something like a sales in blue or something that has uh, more of, of, of they, uh, th what they need in this alkaline services and stuff to, to fit their hair. You know, the main the main reason that we shampoo her is to what? Clean, clean. clean it. That's right. That any that, that's the only reason that you would even shampoo any kind of hair. The main purpose is to clean the hair. Okay, so a review of the shampoos and the conditioners. The purpose of the shampoo product and the service is to clean the scalp and the hair. Conditioners, they can refer to either a conditioner or a scalp conditioner. So Moving right along down. Knowing how to drape a client. It's very important because at the state board, you're going to have to do this and you got to do it the proper way. Draping is the term used to describe a covering the client's skin and, and clothing with a cape and a barrier at the neck band for sanitation and protection purposes. There are two kinds of capes. There are two kinds of cape, guys. There is a shampoo cape. And they're in the hair cutting cake. Okay, so what's the difference? Shampoo in this so they won't get wet and stuff. That's right. Chemicals won't get on it. That's right. And, and, and it's waterproof. Yeah. More than likely, those capes are waterproof so that they won't get their clothes off. And the hair cutting cake, of course, so is not. By the way, guys, hit that subscribe button below. Hit that subscribe button below so you can stay tuned in on all of the updated uh, chapters that I teach. You online? You online? Uh, you live? <laughs> uh, learning draping methods. <clears throat> there are several draping methods in the barbershop and they all require the use of a barrel, a towel or a neck strip between the neck client and the neck band for cake. So what is the reason that we put a neck strip between the client barrier because that guy may be working at an industrial job or a nasty job and 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 then you put an extra up on him and uh you don't put it on and you leave it off and then you get a guy to come in on his lunch break whether he's a doctor or a lawyer or a cop or whatever and you just contaminated by putting that on his neck that's the reason shampoo cape services a call between the position under the cape and folded over the neck band once the cape is secured. A chemical service, a chemical service always require a cloth tile underneath the cape and folded under the neck band once the cape is secured, followed by a cloth tile over the cape neckline to secure it with a clip to provide protection from the solution or the chemical drips. Later on, we'll demonstrate this. Okay, for our hair cutting services, which is different. Hair cutting services, draping includes the use of a neck strip under and then folded over the neck band. That's how it goes. You have to fold it over 
and secure it down. <clears throat> Mustache, beard trim services are pretty much the same. The services require either a neck strip or a cloth tile placed under and then folded over the neck band of the cape as well. Shave services, the shave service requires a, a special draping method to ensure that the barrier between the client's skin and the drape remains in place during the whole procedure. So you're going to have that guy laid back. You're going to have on a shave, you're going to have it over his chest. You follow me, you two? Okay. So, knowing the difference between the, the, the draping methods for a shampoo service or a hair cutting service is very important. Very important. And you got to make sure that you protect your clients from yourself and you protect your clients from other clients that come in following that customer. Understand the shampoo services. Describe the two methods of the shampoo services and rinses. There are two common methods for shampoo and rinsing. There are uh, recline and incline methods. The recline, this is if that client is a uh, special need or uh, they just can't get out of that chair for some reason. So in that case, you would have to roll the chair up to the sink and hold their head under facing the bowl because you can't pick them up out of the chair. Of course, the water is going to fall and the soap is going to fall all in their, in, their, in, their, in their face and their eyes and all that. But hey, if that's the only way that you can do it and you cannot pick that client up, this is the best way to do it. The only way. The other way, if you can get that client up, then you could put them in that chair and then that, that soap and that water won't fall in their eyes and their mouth and burn. Um, the incline method... First, let's go over the recline. Recline method is the method for shampoo that is mostly common and used. The hydraulic chair shampoo is reclined and the client's head is positioned in the neck rest of the shampoo bowl. Right here. The head, the neck will rest right in that part if you're able to recline them. Now, incline methods. This is for those special need guys. Incline method can be used uh, uh, a standard shampoo bowl, but when it's not available, the client cannot use this method. So they can use a standard shampoo bowl if they able to pick up and get out of the chair. But if not, then you're going to have to lean the head forward like I was saying. Shampooing clients with special needs. Now, do know there are people in this world that are special need and they can't, they, they can't help it. If a client is disabled or wheelchair bound, ask the client if he would like to be shampooed. First of all, he might can just wait till he get home, get his medicine, get his bath, and he already have assistance with those things with his staff. But if he just so happened to get one, then go ahead. You can do that. That's your money. All this is your money. Use it to the best of your advantages. When you become a barber, it opens up a variety of everything that you can do. You don't just have to cut hair and make money. You can sell items out of your store and everything. The, the barber's position, physical presentation, excuse me, YouTube, to bend the muscle aches, back strains, and fatigue. It is important that you maintain good posture at the shampoo bowl. Why? It's the same thing as having good posture while you're behind that chair. Standing up straight, cutting the, hair client, cutting, cutting the client's hair, sending them on their way. Hey, you got to think about your fatigue, guys. Standing up, you're going to get tired. Try to find somewhere, try to rest, and you know, on a station somewhere and cut her and then you can last a long time. Same thing is when you're doing a shampoo, if you're using the proper position and then you, it, it helps on your fatigue, your back that you'll need all your life and everything well. Um, preparing the setup. Following consultation with the client, perspiration is the first step in preparing for a shampoo services. An analysis and product selection would be following that. To determine which product to use, a scalp and a hair analysis must be first performed. The condition of the hair and the scalp and the density texture, porosity and elasticity of the hair should be determined when you're figuring out all this stuff. The water should be comfortably warm. Test it on your wrist. Get that, Cut that water on and just test it on your wrist. If it's cold, it's cold on your wrist. If it's hot, guess what? It's hot on your wrist. It's going to be hot on that client. And so don't put that on it. Make sure the water is lukewarm. Lukewarm before you put it on the head. 
Because you can find fault in the, in, the, in the shampoo service. Customer might get mad. The water was too hot. The water was too cold. Uh, didn't wash my hair good enough. Didn't wash all of the shampoo out. All of these things. All of these things. Shampoo application. Applying the, the shampoo product is not difficult. But some basic guidelines can help learners to perform these steps more efficiently and efficiently. There are other shampoo applications which uh one of them is a, is a liquid dry or, or a powder shampoo application that can be used to to freshen up the client's hair uh say for instance if they can't get their hair wet they can't get their hair wet or they don't want to get sick they might want to try a dry, a dry shampoo maybe the doctor prescribed them a dry shampoo so guess what? You're going to have to ride by that. You're going to have to ride with a dry shampoo. And it's okay. It's okay. You're making money. You're making money, you two. Learn how, learn about the scalp and the hair treatments. The purpose of the, the scalp and the hair treatment is to preserve the health and the appearance of the hair and the scalp. These treatments can also help to prevent or combat disorders such as dandruff, dry hair or scalp, or oily hair or scalp. Now, moving on down to where I'm explaining the, uh, the scalp massage manipulations, which is very important, too. This is also some money for you. This is another service outside of barbering that you can make money off of and capitalize on. It's good to know. Okay. Massage manipulations performed during the shampoo or the scalp treatment starts at the hairline and should be performed with even pressure and continuous movements. Wow. Wow, YouTube, that that that's that's that, that that's something right there. That's very good. So, describing these hair and these hair these hair treatments, uh, the scalp and hair treatments is the cleanliness and the stimulants are essential requirements for healthy and uh healthy hair and scalp because the scalp and the hair are so uh irritated. Many scalp disorders need correction to maintain the health of the hair. For one instance, dry scalp and hair. Dry, hair, dry uh, scalp and hair may be caused by inactivity of all glands, uh, poor blood circulation uh, of, the, uh, of the scalp, the uh, excessive removal of the natural oils by a product that strips, that strips the hair off. So, so using, using the wrong product can also Mess, mess with other things in, in, in your hair. It, 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 it can strip your hair. It can strip the hair, the strip the oil from your hair. Uh, now, you can have oily scalp and hair. Now, if you got that, that is most often used by over, overactive sebaceous glands. However, an improper diet or lack of hygiene practices that can be contributed to these factors as well. So, in other words, that's not you, you washing your washing your hair, taking a bath, taking a shower, uh, making make sure yourself is clean, guys. You got to make sure yourself is clean. Uh, dandruff. Dandruff is caused by the uh, fungus. It, it is indicated as white scales on the hair and the scalp that may be accompanied by itching. So they're itching a lot. You'll know this when you're doing that, uh, the hair analysis and you're combing the hair out before you start cutting it or shampooing and you see all those flakes. and They can see it because it's falling all in front of their eye. They can see it. You don't have to address it out loud and embarrass them. Of course, you know what I'm saying? You could just, they can see it. Trust me. They can see it and if they hair stink, they can smell it. You don't have to address that either. If you want, you can just lean down and say, you know, hey, I got maybe a little something I can sell you. Uh, get this dandruff out your hair, kind of help with it, or you can kind of refer them to a position like that right there to get them going in the right direction. Uh, so, we moved on down now to uh, alopecia. Okay, I ain't Chris Rock. Will, don't slap me. I'm just playing YouTube. Okay, so alopecia is the term used to describe abnormal hair loss. Everybody go through it. It's, 
not everybody, but it, it happens. It happens in the world. You can't help it. Uh, they got areola, alopecia. They got, you know, it's just, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's, it's hereditary. It runs in your bloodline. And, and those things just has happened. You can't control it. You cannot control it. I'm sorry. That, 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 that's just what it is. Uh, corrective hair treatment. Okay. So, uh, with a, with a, a scalp sting. For y'all that don't know that YouTube, a scalp sting is an effective in prepare. It's effective in preparing the scalp for a scalp massage, manipulation, and treatment. Steam relaxes the pores, softens up the, the the scalp and the hair, and increases the blood circulation. So, is that good to have a scalp sting? Yeah, yeah. It relaxes your pores. Sure, it is. It softens up. It softens up your hair and your scalp. Those things they should be performed before you even do it before you even do a a, 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 a a massage manipulation if you ask me. Um now using a scalp treatment with an electronic massager, got one of those. That's good money too, guys. This stuff right here, you can charge it easily $30. Easily. Easily. And that's in a little small town, like thirty-eight thousand or better. So when you go into all the big cities, you're looking at Fifty to seventy-five dollars, just for this. Uh, uh, electric massager, sometimes called a vibrator or a hand massager, is an electronic device that is used to perform stimulations to the scalp. So with that, you, you you're using it all over the head. You're using it all over the face. You can use this tool on anything. So if they want a haircut and a massage, hey, we're gonna get this haircut in. We're gonna pay for that. Then we're gonna get this extra service in with this massage. And we're gonna pay for that too. And I ain't even gotta touch your head. It's just I'm going to use this massage and you're going to feel so good and you're going to do that and you might even tip. Come on. Her tonic. Her tonic. Scalp steamers, steam tiles, vibrators, and scalp manipulations can be used with her tonic, guys. It could be used with her tonic. Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one, but I'm learning. So, today, we went over a lot of things. Uh... I went over basically. Uh, 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 there are two. There are two capes. Two time. Two kinds of capes that I went over. Uh, those capes are the, are the shampoo capes and the hair cutting capes. Okay, we went over the different draping methods for existing uh, shampoo chemicals, haircuts, mustache, beards, and shave services. So there, as we know, we there are different. There are different draping methods. They're dripping, mate. They're they're dripping. They're, they're, they're you drape them different. There are different services. There are different drapes to go along with that. You two, common shampoo methods includes reclining and the incline method. So we went over on there. There are two different kinds of ways to shampoo. There's one with the special needs, and there's one with regular people that can get up and sit in that chair and lay back and they go around their neck like that right there with the head back. The effectiveness of the shampoo service depends on the manner in which the, the shampoo is applied and rinsed and the quality of the scalp massage and the temperature of the water used and the use of the shampoo that, that best suited condition for the client and the hair and the scalp. So we went on different ways that 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 that, that the effectiveness that the shampoo services does. Uh why would they find fault? And a shampoo service. Hey, the water might be too hot. Might be too cold. He going too fast. He going too slow. He scratching too hard. He not scratching hard enough. He got all the shampoo out. He didn't get all the shampoo out. He charged too much. He charged too less. Those are the different varieties that, that people may find fault in a shampoo service. What's a good price for a shampoo service? It depends. It depends on you, on what you what you feel like your shampoo service is worth. One. Two, how much hair they got. If they got a lot of hair, hey, we're going to have to add a few dollars or two. If they got less hair, I can accommodate. Hair and scalp treatments can be used to correct various disorders. So if they have a disorder, shampoos can help. They got dandruff problems. Shampoos can help. They got... Problem with their hair stinking, and they take a bath every day. All that, you know, we—that's what it's for. 
Uh, hair and scalp treatments include the use of steam, electric, electronic massages, and hair tonic. Hair and scalp treatments include, include steam, electronic massages, and hair tonic. That's how it go, guys. So when you think of the hair treatment, this is what you get. And that's just one of the things that you could do as a barber. That's outside of cutting hair. That's another entity of making money. There's a bunch of different ways that you can go at a YouTube. Here's another way you got his own entity. And matter of fact, if you if you got a shop and and, and, and you just need somebody to just wash your wash hair, let them wash hair. Let them wash her and then you you could pay them. They not cutting it. They just washing the hair. This could be an extra income for you shop owners, guys. Hey guys, make sure y'all hit that, that that subscribe button below. Mr. Legend, y'all coming at y'all. Hey. Stay tuned. Subscribe. And I'm out.